I, I watched today a number of um, videos of Trotsky, especially when he was in, in Mexico, which we'll get to. And he appears to be extremely likable. Just, it, just, it seems to be like a likable person. So in, in very simplistic terms, if we categorize Stalin as evil, how do you categorize historically Trotsky? Well, to give Stalin his due, you know, when Stalin needed to be gracious or polite or generous when he met Roosevelt and Churchill, he could put on a good face. Of course, he's one of the most evil, destructive people in history in the 20th century, responsible for the death of tens of millions of people. Uh, the, the, the list of his crimes is endless. But he was a human being. He was a political leader. He had to command certain loyalty. It wasn't only through fear. Trotsky was, of course, a far more polished gentleman. He always dressed well. He was very aware of his physical presence. But, you know, I have a wonderful quote in the book uh, from George Orwell. Um, now, Orwell had worked with Trotskyites in Spain during the Spanish Civil War and saw how they were being attacked by the Stalinists. But Orwell said something extremely uh, poignant about Trotsky. He said that, this is in 1939, he said, yes, of course, Trotsky is a more interesting person, a more interesting mind than Stalin. But the real point is that once you ab abandon democracy, Stalin or someone like Stalin is inevitable. And so was Trotsky more gracious? Was he more approachable? Would he be more fun to have a beer with? Was when you saw the YouTube, on YouTube these interviews with Trotsky or his speaking to the Dewey Commission in Mexico, to these Americans who were sympathetic to him, understood he was not really guilty of all the crazy crimes Stalin was ascribing to him during the purges, during the trials, and that's why they were in Mexico to investigate that. So, of course, Trotsky comes across a more sympathetic figure. He suffered terribly. Both daughters died. Both sons uh, were, were killed by Stalin. All his children were destroyed. Grandchildren were destroyed. A brother, a sister. Someone took the family tree and just shook the leaves. So there's a tremendous tragedy with Trotsky, which we should respect and not forget. But, you know, one of the facts, one of the feelings I had writing the book and something Trotsky would have very hard for him to face, was that Stalin was not only a student of Lenin, he was a student of Trotsky. And that is not something Trotsky could easily face. 